Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 30 the Bible reads reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord hath rejected them in this verse we find how the common people identify a group of individuals as rejects and place them as unwanted in typical living society likewise we understand that these ordinary people whom find these individuals which are the rejects of course they also call them reprobates now why is the reason to that well when you read closely into the verse it is because the Lord has rejected them and that is the reason why they are reprobates now in case you are wondering what is a reprobate or what does it mean well according to the Bible a reprobate is someone who has been abandoned in sin, lost the virtue of grace. In other words, they cannot get saved. They have been disproved. They are abhorred, rejected, abandoned to wickedness or to destruction. For example, comparing the book of Jonah from the people of Nineveh to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, there is an extreme difference. Because in the book of Jonah, the Lord God gives an instruction unto the prophet Jonah to go and preach unto the people of Nineveh to repent. And as we all know, the Bible reveals that these people found salvation because they believed on the word of God. However, when we compare this story and this illustration to the book of Genesis, chapters 18 and 19, we don't find the same uh, ending, but what we do find we find eternal destruction unto the city. For example, the Lord God never called a prophet or even Abraham to go preach unto the people of Sodom and Gomorrah because they have been rejected. They have been reprobates already. In other words, they were to the point of no hope for salvation. So if in case you're still wondering if reprobates are able to get saved, well, the answer is quite simple. Even when you read more according to the Bible, you will find more evidences that reprobates are unable to get saved. These are people whom have been rejected by God. They are far from the truth. They are unable to understand and comprehend the gospel.